Hello and hi future YouTube channel. In this short tutorial I will show you how to install FTP server in your Linux machine. In this particular demonstration I will use Azure. The most important is that I will not only show you how to install the FTP server, in this uh, case I am selecting Pro FTP Daemon, but also how to encrypt it so that your username and password will not be unprotected uh, traveling uh, in, username, uh, in internet uh, space. So we'll start because it's Azure uh, <coughs> uh, virtual machine. We must to activate uh, security to allow uh, FTP communication. This is my virtual machine. So when I click in the virtual machine, I will go in the network uh, interfaces. Inside the network interfaces, after selecting, we're looking for security groups network security group. When I click network security group I'm selecting it and we're targeting inbound security rules. Here they are, inbound security rules. I already have a few of them like Apache Web Server, Webmin, uh, which by the way these tools uh, in another video I show you how to install. It. So using your browser you can manipulate your completely your server using graphic interface. So in this case I uh, have to allow FTP. I click in button add and allowing FTP protocol. I'm selecting FTP inside of the service and this is everything what you have to do. Uh, no need to enter any ports or something, just service FTP and click OK. It will take a few seconds before uh, will be active, creating security rule, and it's done. After a few seconds, you'll be able to see it inside of this blade. Here it is. This particular FTP server will require also a passive ports. So I'll open uh, two passive ports and I'll call them FTP passive they'll be custom and they'll be TCP and I also will copy paste it 49152 till 49 uh, till 49153 so actually opening uh, just two ports from number two to number three and I click OK. Again we have to wait a few seconds before security rule uh, is active. In this moment creating security rule, create it and a few seconds again to refresh or to refresh here it is FTP passive it's uh, is there. I, don't lo I no longer need uh, Azure Control Panel, the FTP has been activated. Now I need uh, SSH client, to, so in my previous video I show you how to install Linux and activate SSH uh, uh, remote uh, client. Now we have to install our FTP uh, server. All commands will be available in the in the demonstration. Oops. It's uh, sudo I'm get installed pro FTP daemon. After this command, your um, server will be installed. Something very important, after installation of, uh, of this uh, server, to activate uh, OpenSSH, you need to use sudo apt get install OpenSSH, uh, SSL, sorry. Okay, so this will install 
the second package, which is for SSL encryption. I already did install uh, my recording video make me three times crashing. So uh, everything this time is installed. So I'm not clicking yes, but it's just uh, waiting the configuration to pass. For example, if I click it, you show me it's already installed. But for you, it's important just to see that um, it's uh, the commands. Next step is to stop our FTP server. Now we have to activate uh, the security. So in this case, I will create uh, a directory. I will call SSL one because I already create SSL uh, in my previous video. So just for your demonstration, I create SSL one, and I'm creating now the security key and the certificate. They'll be inside of this SSL1 folder. SSL1 folder. So I will do it again for you guys, just to follow it. Like uh, exactly like in Apache, you you write in the the country, the state, or the province. The city, the company name. This is certificate is only for you, so technically it's not really important what you type. And this is the fully qualified name. This is the web address which you're using to access your server. If you watch my previous video, you know how to uh, is controlling your DNS server to change with different address or just you accessing with your public IP address. In our case I'm using Azure FTP dot learn how to do dot com. This is my address which I activated before. Email address of the administrator. How I said this is not really important because this certificate is only for us, is not uh, uh, for everybody. This is just to ensure that our username and password and the data which is passing is encrypted and nobody can uh, steal it. That's it. The, secu the security key and the um, certificate has been uh, created. I will show you. Like LS, if I go to uh, my folder. SSL1, this is my certificate and this is my key. So after we, we have uh, the keys, we have to configure our um, FTP server. Our FTP server, I will use a nano editor because it's really nice. With this command, I'll open the farm. How I said, I already installed a few times, and every time uh, my uh, capturing uh, uh, application crashed. So, the most important for us is to go all the way down. You see, passive ports. You delete pressing the button delete, you removing the, the hash uh, tag. So passive ports, and this is the two ports which I open in my uh, previous, uh, in the firewall of uh, Azure. So 49, uh, sorry, 49, uh, 153. So this is from 49, 152 uh, to 49, 153. Passive all ports are open. I'll go now all the way down. Where is uh, <coughs> my uh, security SSL encryption activation? 
and this is in one simple config include file. This by default was uh, commented like that, so you have to delete the hashtag, and that's everything what you have to do up to now. Control O. Control O is saving. Control X, exiting. So this configuration file uh, now we're looking for security. And uh, the second part is I have to edit my security uh, file of okay. the one which we just allowed. Let's clear it here. This is uh, the, the file configuration file which we activate in the previous file. Here, all here was with the hashtags, so you have to remove. I'm sorry, you have to remove engine on TOS lock TOS protocol. I think I did here. Okay, here it is. These uh, three lines, we scrolling all the way down. These two certificate files, we removing the the lines here. This line and this one we replace with our certificate and key. How you see they are already pointing in our etc prof FTP SSL this is what we used to to generate them so this is the part which you have to activate these two lines and if we go a little down we have one TS TLS options line here it is removing the hashtag here here TOS option, TOS verify client. I will copy paste all this this whole file in the description, so you can actually delete everything and just replace it uh, or watch it uh, one by one. So TOS required also has been uh, removed uh, the hashtag, so it's active. After finishing, it's Control O, saved Control X. Exit and uh, here it is. We generate the SSL uh, certificate, we activate the we install FTP server, we configure FTP server to look for security, and in, inside of the security configuration file, we also active uh, point where are our certificate and key to be able to access just to verify that uh, our FTP server is uh, up and running I can use uh, FTP client you remember the last time we actually stopped the server so we have to uh, start it uh, this time again ok and let's start the server and we'll just test it we don't have username and password yet in the, in the next video I will show you how to create a different username how you can create different directories for each user and not only on the command prompt but also through the nice graphical user, uh, user interface using webmin so this video is just uh, I will activate I will start the server ok so let me start the server with this command starting the server and I use uh, Mozilla Firefox or oh, Mozilla Firefox it's a file zero sorry I'm using FTP file zero client if I go in the site manager Azure FTP dot learn how to do this is the my server FTP is by default selected required explicit FTP over TOS that's actually the important part 
we still don't have username and password so actually they will never reach this one but I want to see if my server will send me the certificate so if I click certificate connecting you see here it's saying initializing TLS verifying certificate TLS connection established great usually for the first time only it will pop up a uh, mm, Windows which is saying look this certificate is not really real it's a self sign and we have to click OK say yes we did know we know that one so here it is this is how you can install a pro FTP daemon server and activate as generate certificate and activate FTP as security connections so your username and password and all data will be completely encrypted this is everything what I wanted to show in this video next video I will show you the usernames creation with different uh, directory particular uh, you can access uh, in your Apache to access different websites so every single uh, website Every single website actually will have a different develop developer, for example. And also using the webmin, this webmin uh, will be able to control our FTP uh, daemon server and create a username through here. So I'll show you the box by command prompt, SSH, and using the webmin2 graphical user interface through your browser. Thank you for watching, have future, and uh, Probably I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.